as a child, I wasted tremendous amounts of A4 printing paper at my father's office. I drew on walls, desks, the furniture, the floor, you name it. My mother observed this behavior, and obviously she took measures in scolding me, but nonetheless, she observed it, and so she decided to take this incentive to enroll me in art classes. My name is Farha Bashaban, by the way. I'm 16 years old, and I've lived in Doha for 15 years. And early on, art became a passion of mine. When I was bored, I drew. When I was happy, I drew. When I was sad, I drew. When I needed someone to talk to, but no one would listen, I drew. And so it made more sense to me to illustrate my feelings, thoughts, dreams, and inspirations than to captivate an audience through words I felt more of a literal connection to than a personal one. And so in 2002, I won my first local art competition. The moments leading up to that event, I sat in my dad's car and we drove along the Corniche, which by the way, back then only had one building standing at the end of it, which was the Sheridan Hotel. And when I got there, I shook the hands of many people I had never seen before. And most of these people towered over me. Now, this was kind of a weird encounter for a six-year-old, but I think here was when I began to realize that maybe the expressive nature of my art was somehow interesting to other people too, and that maybe people liked it. And so this was only the catalyst. In 2003, there was a local newspaper here in Qatar that would allow children to submit their artwork in a column in, through a magazine, and through my first grade, grade class, I would submit artwork for every single week, and I submitted artwork to that column for like four months, but I never got my work shown. And yeah, it was heartbreaking at first, but I think here was when I began to realize the notion of how every success comes through multiple attempts, and oftentimes, those are failed attempts. But what I'm trying to say is, the way you work around your failure is really what differentiates you from other people. If I had given up that first week and didn't try again a second week, I don't think I'd be the same person I am today. Having a passion for something teaches you so much more than just skill. It teaches you perseverance, and that's really the main idea when it comes to passion, regardless of what it is you do. For me, it was art, and so every one of us at one point has had a dream. And for me personally, it was to get published. Now, I think a lot of us know that as youth, oftentimes the idea of failing really stops us from achieving your dreams and your goals. But I decided to put all my fears aside, and so in 2009, I decided to take the incentive to publish one of my pieces of work through a competition. Now, in 2009, I submitted a piece of artwork for a Michael Jackson-inspired competition, which was basically a book on his life to death. And uh, he himself was working on it before he died, and I submitted this piece of artwork. And uh, little did I know, out of the 200,000 people that submitted, uh, only 28 got in, and my own was one of them. And many of the people that I shared that same page with were artists as a profession, whilst I was just a mere 14-year-old with just passion. And so really, that's what art has taught me. It's taught me to scrap a page and start again. Thank you.